In this video, we're making a cardamom and cinnamon spice cookie with the addition of walnuts, raisins and oats. This is easily one of our top 5 favourite cookies ever. They just go so well with a cup of coffee or tea. So enough talking, let's get to the recipe. We're going to start by grinding the cardamom seeds. Now, there are two main types of cardamom. One has black pods and the other is green. We're using the green ones here, which is sometimes also called true cardamom. Break the pods up with the mortar and pestle, and then peel the skins back to extract the seeds inside. Now grind the seeds into a fine powder. Make sure you have half a teaspoon worth of powder and then set it aside for now. We usually prefer to use black raisins in these cookies but this time we only had golden raisins. Chop them up into smaller pieces if they are a bit too big. If you don't like raisins, feel free to leave them out. And the same goes for the walnuts. Measure out 140 grams of butter and then melt it in the microwave or on the stove. Now we need one whole egg plus another egg yolk. For the dry ingredients, add the all-purpose flour, baking soda, salt and cinnamon into a mixing bowl. Add the cardamom powder from before and give it a mix. In another mixing bowl, add the brown and white sugars, the eggs, the vanilla extract and melted butter. And then mix with a whisk. Now add the dry ingredients into this, one third at a time. Fold gently with a spatula until all the dry ingredients are well incorporated. When it's done, it should flow a little bit like honey, something like this. Now add the rolled oats and the raisins and mix until uniform. To form the cookies, use about a tablespoon of dough for each cookie and then press down with a spoon to roughly shape it. They will expand slightly in the oven, so make sure to allow some space in between. Bake in the oven for 12 to 15 minutes at 160 degrees Celsius. Rotate the pan halfway through so that they bake evenly. They should look golden brown on the bottom and the sides when they come out. Now let them cool on a rack for 20 minutes or so and then they should be ready to eat. These cookies have a beautifully rich, spiced flavour which we just love. Check out our Sweet Things playlist on the top right for other cake and cookie recipes. So that's it for today. We hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something new. Stay safe and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!